hi guys hello family welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl Ruby and ba, 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 ba. <laughs> guys we are on 300 and something I don't know we passed 300 and something we are pushing guys Yay, Bazalang, Siabonga, 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 Siabonga. Thank you so much for the love and for the support, for subscribing, for the new subbies. I appreciate you for those who've been with me since day one. Thank you so much, guys. Your support means a lot. And may we keep supporting each other and being there for each other. Hallelujah. But the main thing is to learn from each other. You know, as we watch each other, may we learn. You know, may we be inspired. May we inspire as well. You know, to not just follow man, but to be inspired. You know? So may we be inspired and yeah, man. We thank God. God is good. God is great. God is incredible. God is awesome, guys. God is awesome. Can I get an amen? And yeah, boy, guys, guys, hope you are all good. Hope you are wonderful and kept in Him. You know, it's been a year. We've lost a whole lot of people. We've lost a whole lot of things life has changed you know even seasons have changed i don't know when last we have rain so it's hectic guys but god remains the same and things may pass away but the word of god remains the same he remains the same he never changes he never loses you know he's always in the game he's always in the game he means business and we are grateful man we are grateful to be his children we are grateful to be loved by him so i just want to share something that i was sharing with my husband we were sharing together actually and i was like no this one but i must share this one like i have to share this one with children of God with someone out there worried. you know being a child of God you know being a believer does not come cheap you know it, it, it's not Malipine M woman is in song area yeah mahala ka yeso hey hey diabu waka yeso like I hanya mahala man you have to work you have to work you have to make every effort you know to to keep it going, you have to make every effort, you know, we have to do a whole lot of things. So we were reading the book of Luke chapter 14, Luke chapter 14 verse 25, and it reads, large crowds were traveling with Jesus, and turning to them he said, if anyone comes to me and does not hate and does not hate father and mother wife and children brothers and sisters yes even their own life such a person cannot be my disciple and whoever does not carry their cross and follow me cannot be my disciple Suppose one of you wants to build a tower. Won't you first sit down and estimate the cost to see if you have enough money to complete it? For if you lay the foundation and are not able to finish it, everyone who sees it will ridicule you, saying, this person began, a, began to build and wasn't able to finish. Or suppose a king is about to go to war against another king. Won't he, sit, won't he first sit down and consider whether he is able with 10,000 men or suppose one coming against him with 20,000? If he is not able, he will send a delegation while the other is still a long way off and will ask, for terms of peace 
in the same way those of you who do not give up everything you have oh sorry in the same way those of you who do not give up everything you have cannot be my disciples mm. hallelujah the heading is the cost of being a disciple you know the cost of being a true disciple the cost of being a true child of god you know guys ne? there's a lot that you have to do as a child of god you accept jesus christ as your personal savior and then he takes charge over your life becomes the ceo of your life the supervisor the manager the controller the leader of your life and you become safe you become protected you lack nothing everything is possible you never fail you don't lose ne? Yes, challenges come. It doesn't mean when you accept Jesus Christ, um, you won't you won't faint. The Bible says, even the young people grow weary and faint, but the Lord will strengthen them and give them new strength, and they will fly high like eagles. Okay. So it doesn't mean when we are in Christ, um, we don't face challenges, we don't face loss, we don't face you know sicknesses and diseases we face all that but little mudimu says he is with us Isaiah ari even when you walk through the fires i am with you even in the waters you know, he is with you you know he promises to be with us so the good thing about everything is that we are never alone you get what i'm saying so it costs because you need to pray it costs because you need to believe it costs because you need to have faith in god Now the Bible says if we can't carry the cross and follow him then we can't be his disciples. If we can't leave everything that we love then we can't be his disciples. Why well, it does not come easy. Why well, one it costs. And if we can't leave the if we can't leave the things we love then we cannot be his disciples. It doesn't come cheap. Remember Abraham. Abraham had to leave his country, had to leave his relatives, his family, everything, a place where he grew up. You know, people he knew. Imagine you, God saying, leave now. Just take your children and your husband and leave to a land I will show you. To a place I will show you. Imagine how you feel. Ah, Mudimu. God, Toma Uperebogumcha. Starting a new life in a foreign land. Abraham left everything and followed Christ and followed Jesus. And we always sing the song, I will follow. I will follow Jesus. Wherever he goes, I will follow. But when it's time to follow, we don't. We complain. We, 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 we ask questions. Are we ready? Are we ready now? Peter, Andrew, and James, they left their nets and followed Jesus. They left their nets and followed Jesus after he had called them. Noah abandoned his life plan and started building the ark. I can imagine he had a whole lot of plans. Maybe he wanted to start a business. Maybe he wanted to do, you know, something, some huge plans that he had. But he abandoned his plans, his life plans that I need to go to varsity and start, that I need to start this project, that I need to start um, a business, that I need to do this one, two, and three, and four. 
he left those things for Christ. Sacrifice. He left everything. Samuel said, here I am, Lord. Samuel said, here I am. He didn't even hesitate. When God called, he said, here I am, Lord. When God calls us, when God calls you, what do you do? Or how do you respond? Are we going to say, God, but I still need to do, I still need to push my YouTube. I haven't reached 1K. I'm not, I'm not there yet. God, I still need to have babies. God, I still need to get married. God, I still need to uh, finish this business. God, I still need to pay my debts. God, I, hey, hey. Or are we going to say, here am I, God. I am available for you. Lead me and I will follow. Jacob left Laban after God appeared to him in a dream and told him, Here I am, Lord. How willing are we to leave everything and follow Jesus? How willing are we to leave our mothers and fathers, you know, our families? Our, our, the things we love, how willing are we to live the Netflix, how willing are we to live the social life and to just follow Christ, how willing are we? May God help us, Mazalani. May God help us, brothers and sisters, that may we follow him. It comes with a cost. You need to pray. Following Christ, you need to pray. Following Christ, you need to have faith. Following Christ, you need to hope and trust in God. Fully. Even when things don't look like they're going to change, you need to trust God. You need to believe or things will happen. It comes with a cost, guys. It really comes with a cost. leaving people moving on with their lives leaving your friends that you grew up with you know excelling in whatever that you guys have decided to do together but leaving everything for God we say we love God but we are not willing to obey we are not willing to, to leave everything for him we say, oh Lord, we are nothing without you. I will worship you. I will live for you. But when God calls, we are nowhere to be found. When God calls, we have excuses. Including myself. When God calls, we, we want to explain all this and that. We are so, we are so full of self. Hey, God wants us. God wants us. God is a jealous God and He wants us to Himself. He wants our full attention. He wants us to obey Him. He wants us to obey Him. He wants us to leave everything and just turn up to Him. It's so fulfilling. It's painful, yes. It's hard, yes. But in the process, it's so fulfilling. Do you think if Abraham didn't listen to God when he said leave, do you think he would have been the father of the nation? If Bob Moses didn't um follow Christ and say, avail themselves. What, what was going to happen? Who was going to deliver the Egyptians? So either way, we need to 
We need to listen to God. We need to listen to God. As long as we have accepted Him as our personal Savior, then He needs to lead our lives. Whatever He says, we must do. We must do. We must do. If God says, leave that job, I will take care of you. Then we leave it. We don't look or hey, I bought a house, hey, I bought a car, hey, my school fees, hey, children, this. We do it. We do it believing in God. Because God is the author and the creator of everything. So God is speaking to us today, including myself, right? How willing are we to leave everything for Him? How willing are we to leave everything that we love, everything we've worked so hard for? How willing are we to just leave it all and just say, Christ, here I am. Use me, O oh Lord. Use me, O oh Father. I am yours. I am yours. And once you do that, sure. Luna, you see, man. Luna, you see changes in your life. You see things making sense. You see things just falling into place. You don't fear anything. You stand therefore. For whatever comes, Lord, whatever comes, I will follow you. I will follow you. May we abide in Christ that he may abide in us. May, may we allow him to rule over our lives. May we stop playing church. May we stop playing that we are Christians but our actions deny everything. But may we be true Christians. May we be true children of God who are ready to be used by God, who are willing to be used by God. If God says go, then we go. If God says no, then it's a no. If God says no, wait, then we wait. Then we will see the goodness of the Lord. Then we will see the goodness of the Lord. So it costs, it doesn't come cheap, being a child of God, being a true child of God. There are children of God out there, but are they true children of God? I don't know. So we work hard, we work hard to do what is right to live fully for Christ, to live for God, to serve Him wholeheartedly, to honor Him, to obey Him, you know, to respect God, to know Hore, we do not live for ourselves, but we live for Him. We do not live for ourselves, but we live for Him. And if He says, wake up at 12, we don't have to explain and say, I was tired, I'm, I'm tired, I worked the whole day, I was standing. You wake up and you pray. When he wakes you up at 3 o'clock, you wake up and you pray. When he says fast for 7 days, you fast. You don't explain that, hey, I bought groceries, hey, what, what. You do as God says you should do. Because why? It costs to be a true disciple of God and once we follow him once we remain in him then he will be pleased and he will say well done my faithful servant you have lived to do good it cost us a lot it cost so much it cost so much
it costs everything. It costs our time. Sure. May God help us. May God help us. May God lead us. May God see us through. As we do right, as we repent, as we come back to Him, and as we stay with the Lord. You know, my pastor, Apostle Ndaba, he's been teaching us about staying with the Lord. He's been doing a series about staying with the Lord. He's been teaching us about the kingdom of God. So right now he's busy teaching us with staying with the Lord. One thing he said and that touched me is, is that his friends and the people he grew up with, they're doing so well. They've got big cars, they've got houses, they've got businesses, they're doing so well. He's still staying at home with his wife because he made a decision that I will stay with the Lord. He made a decision that I will follow God. He took a decision that I will stay with the Lord. Not that because others are doing well, they're not staying with the Lord. No, he's a full time. Um, Pastor. He's a full time pastor into the ministry. So he's been getting a whole lot of business opportunities, this and that. But just because God has called him, he refuses everything that comes up. He just wants the Lord. He just wants the Lord. And he's so fulfilled. He's so happy. And he's doing the work of the Lord. So how willing are we to let go everything? Let him go of our dreams and just following Christ and just hearing from God where God leads me, where God takes me. It comes with a cost, guys. Just to obey and say, Lord, here I am. So let us be careful when we worship, when we pray. And say, end up saying, Lord, here I am, use me, I'm your vessel. Be ready because He's gonna call you and you have to answer. Until we said you're available. So be ready. But it's so fulfilling, it's worth it. Job has said, even though he slay, even though it is hurting, but I know that my redeemer lives. I will never curse my God. I'll rather curse the day I was born. And following God does not mean things will be smooth and easy. They will be hard. They will be hard. They will be hard. Sometimes you'd want to give up. But just stay with the Lord. Rather we lose everything but as long as we are with the Lord, then it's everything. Rather not have it all. Rather I stay in this RDP house and have my God. Rather than having it all, but, but not pleasing the Lord. Having it all being arrogant, having it all disrespecting others, having it all looking down on others. Rather I not have anything, but have God. So stay with the Lord. I'm also encouraging you, somebody out there. Stay with the Lord. Serve Him. Continue going to clean the church. Continue serving. Continue interceding in the church. Continue praying for others. Continue standing in the gap for others. Continue doing good for others. Continue serving. Continue giving. Continue praying for others. Continue loving others. Continue. God is well pleased. 
forgiving others. Continue doing that. May God help us. May God us. May God see us through in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. We give you honor. We give you glory, my God. You are worthy. Your word says your word is alive, active, and sharper than any double-edged sword. Father, we thank you. We are grateful. We bless and honor your holy name. Thank you for your word. Father, we exalt you. We give you the praise. May you help us as we do right, as we repent, as we want to come back to you, serve you, love you, honor you. May you help us. May you hold our hands and see us through in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we adore you. Father, we thank you. We bless and honor your holy name. We appreciate you. We love you, Father. We give you praise. We thank you, do my close for because today from now on we are going to do right and live for you and do good in the mighty name of our Jesus Christ. We thank you and bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.